morning. Another work day here. Uh, it's been a couple of days since. It's been a work day, but uh, yesterday went to Home Depot, got us uh, some some supplies, plywood, other things like that. Uh, so today, if you saw the last one, we're gonna finish up running the string so that I can therefore install some insulation in the ceiling. So first things first, I need to address all of the hanging duct tape, the wires hanging. Um, I've got zip ties now with my sticky 3M adhesive. I'll put that zip tie it all, make it nice and neat. So that's that. That's my 110 wire for up here. If anyone ever wants to put an air conditioner, there it is. So that's that. Let's get started. All right, so I know I have it and I'll go ahead and do it today because a lot of people have messaged us, have messaged us asking about the seat. I'll go down below and show you the base here in a second, the bracket I made for underneath. But this is a Friedman seat. Um, it's two person, it's DOT approved. I'm pretty sure that was, you know, good reason why we got it. Other reason we like it is so, I'll show you. So it folds up, so it's out of the way. So whether you're just a two person um, family, two, a couple, and uh, just want the band to yourself, there you go. Um, if, you know, you just have some friends come, there you go. So it's really nice. So the base of it, I've got six uh, grade eight bolts through here. Uh, you can put more if you want, but for right now I've got six grade eight bolts with lock nuts, swashers, things like that. But so what you do to pull it down, pull this down. Fly is biting me on my back. Push it down in order to pick it up. Right here, the seat comes. So it's got seat belts, everything like that. It's pretty stout, secure. It's comfortable, looks good, it's leather. Um, so pretty happy with that. Again, pull that. And it folds up nice and neat. All right, so down below here is the bracket. So let me grab the camera. See if we can get a good, it's kind of dark under here. Let's see, let's open it up. All right, so as you can see, this is the bracket. I do have some GoPro footage. GoPro wasn't really working great, but I do have GoPro footage that we might, Kelly might insert here. All right, so you can see there's the bolts. The bolts, I do have other holes where the bracket will go. So this bracket itself was 3 16 plate and then I had to butt weld it. And then I added these uh, pieces of angle iron to give it strength so that it wouldn't, you know, bow or flex. But basically that's it. And in the sprinter, if you put it on this side, I mean like all of this is free. So you have all that room to, you know, place it. So it worked out really nice. Didn't have to mess with the gas tank. So that's it right there. Time for some Havilah hole. In all of our van builds, this is what we have used. Um, we try when we can to use something that is more natural, that's better for you. And this here is better for you. It's natural. It also works really, really well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start trying to fill it in the nooks and crannies. You might be like, 
Why do you have a respirator on? I thought it was all natural. But it is. But there's so many loose fibers that you still don't want them going in your throat. Eye protection. Because it flies all over the place. And just like that, like I was saying, just like that, this van is insulated. Obviously areas like this, when I come to put the walls up, I will attack those better. Um, and closer to the ribs, I'll attack those better. Um, once I have my bracing or framing up, that I will attach the ceiling to. Stay steady, guys. 